This is the view of Trafalgar Square from the roof of the National Gallery. And despite the fact that it's miserable weather, you can actually just about make out why it's become one of the most iconic locations in London and the subject of countless paintings. The latest is downstairs on show in the gallery right now. But the difference with this one is that it's being created live in full view of the public. Under their watchful gaze, the artist at work is Ben Johnson. After a long, meticulous process of plotting and drafting his cityscape, he's now painting in many of the details familiar to the public. But his view of Trafalgar Square from the roof of the gallery isn't quite as faithful to reality as it might at first seem. This is nothing to do with the reality that exists outside the museum. This is the reality that exists within the studio. Everything is manipulated. Why did you decide to have no people in the image? Because this isn't a real city. This is no grime, no crime. This is a dream of a city. This is an illusion of a city. What do you think the live element of painting in front of a live audience adds to the process? It gives me an enormous sense of concentration because if you're confronted by 40, 80 people watching you, you either get absorbed by them and get diluted or you concentrate even harder, which is what I've done. So the second and very important part for me is public engagement, this breaking down of boundaries. The fact that this painting hasn't arrived in a gold frame with a little label, this is the byproduct of somebody manipulating materials. It's an attempt to make art more accessible by an understanding that it's done by a very ordinary person. The live element of this exhibition follows on from a long tradition of artists such as Nicky de San Fal and Jackson Pollock interacting with the audience to create new work but not everyone's impressed with this latest take on the practice. I don't think the audience are adding to the work itself. If you think of Jackson Pollock making his work either live or you know, as it is with documentation videos that act as part of the work itself, uh, you know, that, that's exciting. You don't know what's going to happen. It's uh, spontaneous. Because uh, Ben Johnson uh, plans everything out, it's very detailed, seeing him design his paintings is almost like seeing a, an architect draw out the plans of a building. Uh, but I mean, that's the nature of his practice. To what extent is the live element just a gimmick? Well, um, the, the issue that we have in the National Gallery, of course, is that all of the artists in our collection are dead. Our collection finishes at 1900, therefore we can't get any of the old guys in to manifest themselves. So it's, it's a great opportunity for us to actually remind visitors that all of the paintings that we have hanging on our walls here were once upon a time wet, but they are handmade. And even if their presence doesn't contribute to the work, observing its handmade nature is proving popular with the public. As large crowds of them look on, Ben Johnson has just two weeks to finish his painting.